Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today's test drive a 1966 C10, well GMC pickup truck. This has got the 5.3 Vorte, aluminum radiator, power steering, power brakes. Yes, this is a fuel injection motor. And of course I'll be taking it down the road, pointing out the flaws so you know what you're getting. This is all I do here is videos, so if you don't mind hit subscribe and share. This one's got an upgraded bed. It's got new floor pans. It's got a high dollar set of gauges on the dash. New seat, new carpet, new steering wheel, stereo, and a patina paint job. This is a lot of clear on top of it, which kind of sanded a lot of stuff down and gave it this look on purpose, but it's very smooth. All right, guys, 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. For now, let's get the hood shut. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. As you can see, they've replaced a lot of stuff on the interior. You got a new steering wheel here. You got a brand new seat. You got a new carpet. You got door panels done. Interior looks good, new light, upgraded uh, dash here, and if you don't like that, you can cut that off too, but it is pretty cool. I think this switch here is for your halos around your lights up front. We'll leave it on for the video because I, I kind of like it. This one does start up good. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Try some stuff out like your wipers, which fly. This is pretty cool. You can just hook it up if you have any kind of engine codes. You got an aftermarket radio, which we take the face out of because believe it or not, people still like to steal those out of cars. You've got some kick panel speakers in the floor there. I mean, this thing has got a lot of new stuff on it, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and try the horn. And if you said it worked, you was wrong. I'm surprised they didn't hook that up. Tilt column, turn signals nice and bright on both sides all right guys let's go ahead and get buckled up and take off all right guys we're ready to roll so anything i see i'll let you know i have let it warm up looks like our engine temperature is sitting at 180 which is good great oil pressure 40 pounds uh we're charging and we've got a quarter tank of gas i may stop and get a little bit of fuel just to you know get it around half a tank to check that gauge this thing feels pretty solid one thing i noticed I said something about getting buckled up. There's no seat belts. So you might want to add some seat belts if, you know, you want it to be 100% street legal there. <laughs> All right, we're in drive. Squeaky brakes. MV 
the bed here. So that's how we're gonna put fuel in. And I'll show you um, exactly where that's at too. Let me get you off and show you what the gas gauge is showing here. It's actually not flashing. That flashing is called a refresh rate from my camera. These gauges are solid right now. Okay, let's get some fuel. Okay, so I actually like the gas tank placement here, which has been upgraded as well, along with the bed. This thing looks amazing. But check this out. You just lift it up. Nice, thick billet cap. Takes a little while to unscrew. With a chain. And I think that gauge is going to be right, so... It's kind of sticking a little bit there, wasn't it? Make sure it's good. All right. It's coming up. It's above half a tank now. Well, almost a half a tank. We got up there, though. We definitely needed some gas. Let's go ahead and keep rolling here. Yeah, let's rock and roll, guys. There's reverse for you. Neutral drive. Kicks the tires over easy. I mean, <laughs> it just sits there and spins. She got plenty of get up and go. Definitely hits in second too. A 
mirrors up here they're in decent placement because you could see but they don't have one on the passenger side at all which you don't have to but that's the side that I like to see because then you can see exactly how you're backing up on the line there I always thought that too Engine temperature is sitting at right at 190, which is great. Oil pressure's at 30. I've been riding around for a little bit in this one, so. Pretty comfortable test drive. Suspension's not bad, just a little stiff in the rear. Oh, starting to try to rain on us. See if we can get back for it. Gets everything dirty again. Nice little bump in the middle of this road here. Kind of give you an idea on suspension if you give her a listen. Right here. Not too bad. There's something rattling over there. I'm right around the corner from the car a lot, picking out the flaws is coming up next. That's where I walk around the whole ride, look for chip scratches, rust, and dents. I did see a few dents because I already did that before the test drive. Guess what? It stopped raining. I wiped it off. I was waiting on the road to dry. Gave me a perfect window to do the uh, walk around. I just had to uh, chamois it off. And if you notice, there's a chamois in the bed the whole video. <laughs> okay. Good deal guys we're pulling back in i'll see you in the next one All right, guys, here we go. Let's pick out the flaws. We're going to walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides. See, I'm starting off with the walk around today, but, of course, this will be put at the end of the video. This has got a thick clear coat all the way around. I actually really like the way they did the patina paint job on this one. Let's get up close here. A little smear back there that's under it too it's under the clear coat you got upgraded headlights i love the way the gmc just stands out right there above the bumper Pretty sweet tires are in good shape up and over dent there in the back oh it's thick right here on the clear you can see it kind of run back in midsection slight little bubbles there
This is a sticker so it can come off. It's just sitting on top. You can pretty much put anything you want on the side. If you want anything on the side. <laughs> Front windshield looks good. Put a cracks there. Put a little tape still on top of that. Put cracks here under the clear coat though. Pitting on your door handle. It's like a ding right here. On that roof as well, there's a dent. You got some up front on the other side too. In the back, some things. Back window, seal, all looks decent. I love how they did the bed in this one. That is awesome. Super clean. Still got the chamois or I was wiping it off. It's been raining like crazy today, so I waited for an open end to do this video for y'all. Just some dents in the back of this tailgate. You can see them kind of indented in there. One right there. There, here. Also there. bit of pitting some of your chrome we're back down this side an old crack there Little dings down in here. Can't hardly even see them the way they got the paint job. Pitting on your door handle there. Mirror used to be here and they got it up here now. Windshield looks good. I think somebody's replaced it. You got some dents up here. Over here too. Big area. People are sitting up here. Let's open her up. Door panel's new. Super clean in your jams, bottom of your door. Carpet's been changed out. It's new. Seat, new. Floor pans, new. This figure's in the kick panel. light inside here also been replaced new revisor new steering wheel hot all our gauges here check this out and there's a switch if you don't like that <laughs> let's try it again
gauges do not flash like that. It's called refresh rate on my camera. They're a solid color in person. Wow, that one rolls on my camera, but in person it's solid. I've never seen one roll like that. How weird. Still can't get it to home. Super clean. Thing comes down super easy good spring there scratch on your headlight Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available on this vehicle. You just got to go to maplemotors.com. That's my website. You see all of our inventory. It's updated every single Monday, so we try to keep it current. But we just update with new cars once a week. So if you want to be first, you want to check Monday around 12 o'clock. Thanks, guys.